So yeah, um, Kekkers here. I'm here today to talk about Avatar The Way of Water from James Cameron. And yeah, I'm a bit late to the party, but there's a good reason for that. I wanted to wait till I could see it with some friends. And now that I've seen it with some friends, I have to say, wow, um, where was this last time? And I kind of know probably where this was. You see, uh, this movie is good. This movie is, no, this movie's not good. This movie is amazing. This is one of the best experiences in a film I've had in quite a while. It is, it is a simple story, well told. It is amazing looking. I mean, this thing is so high fidelity that it's sickening. Um, the battles, the just experiencing the world of Pandora. Where was all this stuff last time? And as I was going into the whole, where is this last time? Um, well, last time the whole thing was about exposition and letting us know what was going on. But this movie is nice, tight. It just hits the ground running and just goes. So this one picks up quite a few years after the end of the first movie, where Jake and Atiri are starting their family, and their whole big thing has been going on in Pandora. And obviously, the thing that everybody was expecting was going to happen at the end of the last movie happened. Uh, the humans came back and they started all of their mining and all their other stuff going on. But they also just showcased that, you know, that the, the Navi really can't stop the humans from arriving because the simple act of them landing creates a huge crater that devastates the environment. It's like, what are they supposed to do if the humans really want a wreck shop? But, but anyway, um, one of the main things that this thing has over the previous film is that it gives you actual characters to care about. Jake and Natiri's family in this are the core of the film and the core of the franchise going forward because that's what this is now. It is a franchise and they are really hyping and setting things up for the long haul now. But also, they've got a good villain. It seems that James Cameron realized his mistake with killing off Quaritch in the first film because he was pretty much the only person on the, uh, the human side that we cared about as a villain. So he's back in a V form. Yeah, so he has his own avatar and he's learning about the world and he even has his own kind of mirror to Jake's journey in the first film where he's being brought through the environment and he's learning about Pandora and he's bonding in a certain way though he's still being an asshole and he's being a delightful asshole. He's such a great villain. But with him coming back, with the humans coming back, Jake and his family have to leave the tree people and go to learn the way of water. They must join the sea people and dear God, James Cameron's love affair with the ocean continues in this film. It looks fucking gorgeous. But yeah, we have them learning and experiencing life with the Sinavi who were designed and evolved for more aquatic life, um, living with uh, animals, and all of the different creatures that we get to see and witness are just beautiful and amazing. And this is a new way of living that we're seeing with these characters which is very different from their whole forest environment but they kind of just explain it through experiencing it there's not so much a lot of the same spend 20 30 40 50 minutes just learning about what these different animals are you just see them in action a couple of animals you to get the names of particularly the good old crabs Oh, they've got some great crustacean whales in this, and even they have their own language. So, like, wow, the, the animals really are equals in this world. So it makes even more sense that the V connect to them. Yes, you got the whole um, head, tail, USB thing, but now they can just communicate through spoken language, too, with the animal. But yeah, we have Korich and his him being brought back as an avatar with some other marines who unfortunately don't really get much being fleshed out for them. I thought he'd have his own squad of avatar marines that we'd see and get to experience and they have their own character arcs, but no, they're just grunts to get killed. 
when Korich has the only actual personality. I mean, one of them's got a heavy weapon, and one of them's a girl. I mean, that's something, but no, no, it's not. What really humanizes, uh, what really humanizes Korich, though, is a little human companion that he picks up and is teaching him about the world of Pandora from a more on-the-ground way because of his connection with this human. Going back to Jake. Jake and his family leave, they go to join the Water Tribes, and there's a lot of strife, there's a lot of back and forth, there's a lot of sibling rivalry between Jake's oldest and his youngest son. Uh, the, the, the family dynamic really is good and strong and carries this film. The family dynamic on how they integrate with this new tribe. It's this movie is good, this movie is great, this movie is strong, emotional. Um, there's going to be amounts of times where you're going to cry, there's going to be amounts of times when you're going to cheer. This is a good, this is a great movie and James Cameron just knocks it out of the park with this. I am fucking astonished about how much better this is the previous movie it looks better the story's better the characters are better the the fight scenes are better oh my goodness uh jake and his rematch with quaritch it's just everything in this film is strong and you should go see it if you thought that if you thought Avatar 1 was a fluke, it is not, and this thing has earned every bit of the billions it's going to make. I'm Keckers, and yeah, Avatar 2, Way of Water, I'm looking forward to Avatar 3 now. Later, taters.